guys, so today I have my green polishes from my Roy G. Biv series. I actually need to finish swatching my yellows and put it up today, but I am going to fill my greens. So I'm trying to do this in a color order. I have quite a few. Green is probably tied with my number one favorite polish color to wear, especially in the springtime. So a lot of these are light and pastel-ish, but I'm going to start from dark go to light and then throw in some indies. So I'll go ahead and start. The first one that I have is Zoya's Hunter and this came out in their fall collection from 2013 and I initially got this to do a camouflage nail tutorial which is somewhere on my channel um, and I really really like this. I don't have any dark greens that aren't like shimmery um, holly kind of greens. This is just a nice dark hunter forest green and it's very unique to my collection. I do really love this. It's fantastic. It's opaque and um, Zoya's really good about like keeping their colors on their website. Um, so I will link all of the like where you can get all the polishes down below. Um, a lot of them will be Amazon links but if I can find it cheaper somewhere else I'll link wherever I can find it cheapest. So that is Zoya's Hunter. The next one is from Essie and this is Pretty Edgy and this is just the perfect grass green. I wore this for my St. Patrick's Day manicure. It's just absolutely perfect. I love this color. Two coats, it's not sheer or anything, and it's just, it's just amazing. I love, <laughs> I love the grass greens, and it's like the lighter the greens get, the more I love them. Um, but this is just a really gorgeous, uh, spring, like it makes me want to see this color coming up out of the ground. It snowed yesterday, so happy freaking spring. But I just, I really, really love the grass greens and everything that's kind of like fresh and bright, especially this time of year. But yeah, love this color. The next one is also from Essie, and this is Mojito Madness. And I heard this described as like the Starbucks straw green. And I don't drink Starbucks a lot, but I'm pretty sure I saw a picture a long time ago of <laughs> what it like looks like next to the Starbucks straw, and it's pretty close. It's just, um, it's almost like a darkened mint color. It's really hard to describe, but it's just really, really gorgeous and as someone that's fair like me, I really like seeing colors like this because they look good on my pale skin. This is amazing. Again, it's cream polish. I think minus the glitter, I think these are all creams and the textures, but whatever. The next one is also from Essie. This is First Timer. It's not mint. It's more of like a blue green. It's kind of walking the line in between a blue green and a true green, but definitely more green than blue. But it's just really, really gorgeous. Again, this one can be kind of streaky. Um, not terrible. I tend to like like colors enough that I'll just, whatever, I'll sing their praises regardless. This one can be kind of streaky, but it's nothing that's like terrible to work with. I have to have one true mint green, and honestly, I, Essie's Mint Candy Apple is a little too blue for me to be considered a mint green, and I don't have a fresh mint from China Glazed, and yeah. So this is actually my favorite, and this is Mint Sorbet from Sally Hansen and it's like $2.50 and it's just like the perfect um, mint green color. It's a very true mint green. I have one polish from Julep and this is Courtney and this is just a really awesome pale green. It's got like it's a little bit of a yellow green uh, but I really really like this. I paired Candy Lacquer's oh, Holiday Dreams over this when I swatched it like back in December and I was just like this is such an awesome green color and I love this a lot and this time of year is like perfect to wear it and now I've tried to decide which green I'm going to wear after this. Um, but yeah, this is Julep's Courtney. This next one is from Lime Crime and I did warn you guys that like every Lime Crime polish is going to be included in their respective color category. This is Pistelchio and this is just that gorgeous neon pastel polish and it is a pistachio green. It's not so much a mint. But it is, it's amazing because it's pastel and it's light, but it's very, very bright and eye-catching. It's one of those ones, I don't know if you guys have ever, like, experienced this with the polish. I saw this with Chinese Lady's Son of a Peach the other day. Um, when it's, like, kind of dusky, like the sun is just coming up or the sun is just going down and you look at your nails, it seriously looks like they are glowing. And this is another polish that does this. It's absolutely amazing. Um... Yeah, I love this. These, like I said, have been sold out on the Lime Crime website, uh like pretty consistently, but I'm pretty sure you can find them on Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it below. This next one is a new addition to my collection, but from like the second I had it, I knew it was going in my favorite greens. This is China Glaze Grass is Lime Greener, and it came out with their spring collection this year, and it's very similar to Pistelchio, but it is actually 
brighter and more, it's still like what I would consider a neon pastel, but it's more on the neon side than Pistachio is, and it's just a little bit brighter. But this is amazing. This dried to like a semi-matte kind of finish, um, and it was kind of a pain. I tend to do thicker coats, so I was able to even it out in two, but if you do thin coats, you might have more of a problem with it. But this is just absolutely amazing, and I love this polish. I'm like, I seriously consider getting a backup even though I won't because I know that's absolutely ridiculous with the collection my size. But this is just, I seriously grab this while you still can because it's amazing. I have some textures. Um, like I said, I love green. Everything that's green I'm drawn to. The first one is Zoya's Cheetah and it is like a forest green um, pixie dust, obviously. It's a forest green texture with kind of a gold shimmer in it. Now my bottle, it seems like a lot of the shimmer has settled onto the sides, so it's difficult to see the, like the true color of the polish. You'll see it in the swatch, but it's just it's really really amazing. It's very sparkly and very uh, like multi-dimensional, but it's just a gorgeous polish. And the last one is a matte texture, and this is Sally Hansen Sugar Coat and Sour Apple, and it's just a mint green. I don't see apple, but it's whatever. Uh, it's a mint green, and it has no glitter or shimmer in it, so it's a matte texture, and it's just it looks really nice. Um, I'm kind of on the fence with matte textures. I either love them or I hate them depending on the color, but I do really, really like this one. And here we go, Indies. Um, the very first thing I'm going to show you is been one of my favorite thermal polishes for a very long time. This is Pretty and Polished Tomboyish, and I wasn't sure if I should include it in here because it is a nice, dark, um, kind of dusty green color, but when it gets on the nails and it warms up, it's more of like a lighter blue. But I just, I love thermal polishes, and I just really wanted to show it and talk about it and so it's green in the bottle so it's counting as a green but this is amazing it was one of the first few thermals that I got from Pretty and Polished and it's still now a year later my absolute favorite and for indie glitters I have two the first one is from Dollish Polish and this is Hero of Time this comes in a duo um, with Highland Princess which is a purple glitter mix and it's like the Legend of Zelda duo which you know obviously I'm all over that but yeah this is really amazing it's almost like camouflage. It's gold and green and um, some brown in there. It's predominantly green obviously but it's just it's really really pretty and it's like like I said like camo glitter and it's metallic glitter so they're all very reflective and gorgeous and it's like I look at it and I see Link because it's like all the right colors <laughs> but yeah this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm pretty sure you can still get this but like I said I think it's only sold in a duo. And the last one is from Candy Lacquer. I have this on my nails today, and this is Spring Fever. Now, it's not like green green. There are a lot of colors mixed into it, but it is predominantly green. There's a few different shades of green, some pink, some purple, uh, white, and yellow. And it's just, it looks like a garden when the flowers are starting to bloom. And there's like butterfly shapes in here, and flower shapes, and circles. And it's just, it's gorgeous. And I love this. And like I said, it makes me think of spring and flower beds and flowers and things not being dead and full of snow like they are behind the camera. Um, yeah, so again, that is Candy Lacquer Spring Fever. This, I'm like 90% sure you cannot get this anymore, but I'm hoping to see some awesome spring polishes from her this year. So there's probably going to be an alternative. So yeah, those are my top favorite green nail polishes. I will link the playlist that I made below with all the videos so far. I will link the videos individually down below, I think. If you want to watch them or catch up on them, I will link, I will have links to all of the polishes if I can find them down below. Candy Lacquer, eh, I'll link the website, but I don't think you'll find that specific polish. And yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. Bye.